facts and we can use them to prove prove our facts so first thing we are talking about is the serological tests and how the serological tests will help us to understand who is related to whom so as we can look the serological test as the name suggests is a test by using antibody and antigen so using antibody and anti serum which has been produced uh, by a cell uh, when the bacteria enters into a body so if we enter if we put uh, bacteria inside the cell of a horse and produce antibody against that so it will produce some of the antibodies now we have those antibodies now what we can do we can use those antibodies for example in this case uh, in this picture we can see if we use this antibody uh, and uh, use another antigen producing bacteria so suppose uh, this is an our known antibody so our known antibodies so this orange color antibodies uh, is our known antibodies and we know now we have a bacteria this no, this known antibodies are being produced by a bacteria a so bacteria A produces this known antibody. Now suppose we have a new unknown bacteria. Now we have an unknown bacteria. So this unknown bacteria which is bacteria UB, I say unknown bacteria. Then this unknown bacteria produces an antigen. Now this antigen is unknown to us. Now what we can do, we use this antigen. We use this antigen along with that bacteria which is producing that antigen inside uh, a serum inside a serum now use this known antibody to act against this antigen if this uh, this antibody will act against the antigen and coagulate that antigen and uh, and uh, and uh, it will coagulate the antigen then we can say that uh, that this bacteria which we are talking about is very much similar with the bacteria we know so the so this ub will be similar to a in many aspects how because uh, ub is producing the antigen and the antibody is produced by a so this antibody has an ability to at to be attached with uh, to be interact with the antigen produced by the unknown bacteria that means they have some similarities in the production of antigen they have some similarities among themselves that's why they can attach or agglutinate all these things together so we can uh, almost we cannot say detail uh, in detail but we can say yeah they are they are uh, in a relationship and and what is the advantage of serological test is that they are highly specific so we can tell at least uh, by looking at this that yes this is a fact because otherwise this antigen antibody will not interact because antigen antibody interact only when everything matches together right okay now we can also use this kind of test using fluorochrome so you at at us fluorescent uh, and uh, we have fluorescent dyes with the antibody in, in the antibody will will get fluorescent then we can sell some cell mixture and we can make a suspension of cells and add those antibody if the bacterial antigen is recognized by the antibody then the bacterial cells will be coagulated and we can look at the fluorescence amount and how much uh, bacterial cell will be coagulated uh, is is being coagulated by looking at this we can say yes this bacteria a and b are linked with each other or related with each other by using this kind of serological test so this is uh, the type of test that will help us to understand specifically who is related to whom but this test actually helps us to understand the differences between species only because if we go uh, from uh, look at the previous picture if we go from species there are minor differences and th th this antibody antigen uh, interaction tests are very very sensitive as we know so they are only able to tell us about the differences between species but if we think the difference between genus if we try to maintain uh, the difference if we try to know the difference between genus two genus then this serological test will fail because uh, 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 mm, because one genus of bacteria produce some of the antibodies they, they, mm, they those antibodies will not have any kind of specificity with another uh, antigen with uh, another genus so that intergenous uh, interaction between this in, I mean, uh, in between this uh, antibody antigen will not be accomplished okay so that's why this is uh, the drawback of this serological test is that we can only uh, use this kind of test to distinguish the type of species what we have or in very s few extents uh, the genus but not more than that okay so another advantage is does not usually require the organisms to be isolated into pure culture because we can use it we can make a just a culture make a suspension then we can use it because as as a, it is it's specified then uh, the other debris which are present will not interfere with the interaction of uh, antigen antibody okay so it can be used to identify between uh, uh, 
some uh, some of the uh, bacteria which cannot be grown on the medium so non cultured bacteria uh, in case of non cultured bacteria we can use this kind of tests but the drawback is we can only do at the level 